Hi guys and welcome back to my channel English with Kaylee. In today's video I'm going to teach you all about the third conditional in English. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more English learning videos. Let's get started. So first, let's take a look at when to use the third conditional. So we use the third conditional to talk about the past, but it's quite special because it's used to describe a situation that didn't happen, okay? It didn't occur. And we imagine the result of this situation, okay? So how is it formed? This one is by far the most complex um, in terms of structure. You can see from the zero conditional, first conditional and second conditional video, they're slightly easier in terms of writing it out and saying it. So the third conditional uses the if clause still, but here we use the past perfect. Now the past perfect is used by using the word had and the past participle, the past participle of the main verb. So this, for example, if we look at the word, the verb break, we have break, broke, broken. Broken is the past participle form of the verb. So we have to use if with the past perfect. And then in the main clause, we have to use would have. So in the second conditional, we just use would with the verb. But in the third conditional, we use would and have and the past participle again. So that break, broke, broken. Broken is the past participle form of the verb. So it is a little bit more complex. Um, definitely check out my videos that show you the different forms of the verbs. I'll link it in the description below. So let's take a look at some examples. This is an easy way for us to see the sentence in its entirety. So we have, if you had studied, you would have passed your English exam. Let's break it down. If you had studied, so don't forget this is the past perfect, had with the past participle. If you had studied, so this is the imaginary situation, it didn't happen. But if they had studied, you would have, so we have would and have, and then we have the past participle. Now this one, because it is a regular verb, we just add ed, so pass, past, past. It's the same for the past participle. You would have passed your English exam. Let's take a look at another one. If we had caught a bus to the airport, we wouldn't have missed the flight. We wouldn't have missed the flight. So again, to break it down, here we have the past perfect, had caught, so this didn't happen. But if they had caught a bus to the airport, they wouldn't have missed the flight. Again, because miss is a regular verb, we just add ed, okay? All right, let's try a few questions. So here's the first one. If he, mm, with study, he, mm, and then we're going to use past his math exam, his math exam, okay? So don't forget here, we want to use the past perfect. We do that by using had and the verb in the past participle. So how do we say study in the past participle? Good, it's a regular verb. So we say, if he had studied, just be careful with the spelling, all right? We don't use Y, we use I-E-D. He, and then what are those two keywords that we need in the sentence? Good, he would have passed his math exam. Perfect. 